on Independence Weekend, Saturday, August 5, 2023. It's all about Umbrella Evening Brunch Anniversary at Caymanos Golf Club St. Catherine from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's a food inclusive and VIP mixed drinks inclusive event. Performances by Development Valiant, Stock Ashley, and the fourth gen boss, I did it down ya. Showtime, 6 p.m. Music by Chromatic Live, Fire Team, Chabrock Team Wire, and Pomo Black's Movement, powered by Stingray Movement. So get your tickets online now at First in Line JA. No weapons allowed. Must be 18 years or older. Drink response. Good evening, people. Good evening. So we have Mr. Butler. Mr. Butler, good evening. Good evening, Ryan. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Can't complain. I have life, the greatest thing. I'm buzzing right now. Team win last night. Wally Pa dancing. So feeling good, bro. Feeling good. How are you? Excited, but it's not something that shocks me. It's something I knew would happen. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But oh, oh your boys I'm doing right now. You 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 send me some picture of you guys in Genk right now. Oh, oh, the, oh the boys I'm doing. Good, we have um Zen Pinnock and Damai Whitfield, you know, knows they are left holding midfielder um from Phoenix and Mona. I've been saying he's a top talent for a while. And Zane, who was the third leading goal scorer in the Manning Cup and played for Mona and Phoenix as well, is um they're both on trial at Genk and um Zander is at Kortrak. Okay. So okay. I'm in I'm in Belgium right now waiting on the rest of the the squad to get to Europe. So we can go to Portugal. We have games with Australia and Benfica. And then we have games in, in, in also in, in Belgium with Genk. And then we have games after that with Chelsea U21, Man City U21, Aston Villa U21, um, Sheffield United U21, Watford U21. And um, one more club, I can't remember which one. But Where they came, they're going to play? In, 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 in Belgium or is going to play in Austria? No, man, in England. Oh, England. Okay. So how much time a year you guys travel? Usually it's once a year. Usually once or twice a year, depending as a as a unit this way, once a year, because we're carrying our under seventeen and our under twenty squads. So we we carry we when we go on these these this tour here is a selling tour. Mm -hmm. The tour in youth in twenty one was to expose the players because they were still like sixteen, seventeen, fifteen. Um, now everybody is coming of age, so they're you know, 18, 19, you know, Theo is 16. The youngest is Sean Layton, who is still 14, but he's already a two-year veteran in the Manning Cup and in Phoenix from was a baby and he was touch six foot now. So, uh, excited. It's really an exciting time and it's an exciting time for Jamaican, Jamaican football. We, uh, we have on board. Sponsor the Phoenix Adam. We are traveling often with where the budget come from. Budget, you know my thing set from day one and I'm really I do my thing. You didn't take sponsor? No really. <laughs> Why? You know nobody if you tell you nothing. No, it is not that it's just that the model that we use is is a model that you use to earn the right. You earn the right for what we're doing and and um you know, with a lot of what the negative that the the JFF in the past or the Kasaf or whatever, I just don't feel that we should be going to sponsors and asking them for sponsorship. We have international sponsorship with Nike, you know, and um, we're looking at other other boot deals as well for you know people like Whisper and for Theo and Dante and so. But the the idea really is to 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 self-generate, to to eat from our own table. You know, we produce and then we utilize the funds from that to help other young boys get another chance through these avenues. So, you know, a lot of people, they will, they will make a transfer fee. Uh, I, like I made a transfer fee off of Leah. All the trips would whisper to Europe. All the times we took the team away. It was the money that I made off of that transfer that I used to pay for tickets, to pay for gears, to pay for travel, to pay for 
meals, to pay for kids to go to school, to buy uniforms, to get a bus for the team. You understand? Mm. All of those things came from our own work. You know? Okay. By the sweat okay. of thy brow, so shall you eat bread. So that is how we have really lived with Phoenix. We'd love to be able to get sponsors and get people on board with us to help with this movement. And anybody that wants to, that's fine. But understand, our model doesn't change. It doesn't change to suit anybody. Okay. So how long know you guys has been with um, at, um Nike? How long know you guys has been um, Nike sponsor Phoenix? How long know? Twelve years. Twelve years. Wow. At that's least. Good. Yeah. That's good relationship, man. Yeah, man. We do our job. We do our job. You know. But as I say, we have much more players now. And they're mm. branching out, so we have to look at different boot companies also for them. You know, okay. so you have a you have a man like uh, um, Whisper will probably get a different boot deal. It may be Nike, it may be maybe Adidas, it may be Puma. We don't know. You know, we're working on all of that now, and we're gonna make a decision within the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, people like like Zander or, or Theo, Denzel McKenzie coming up or or, you know, Zayn, each of them will have their own boot deals at some point. Um, and Phoenix will have to to also consider how we work in terms of, of, of what we're going to do with that. Because in the past, we had only one that we work with. We may have to work with others. Okay. And that won't affect the Nike brand? No, because the Academy works with Nike. Okay. Oh, oh, it's just individual player. I go just like yeah. the national team now. Okay. Yeah, it's like national team of Adidas, but you have individual. Nick Leon has Nike. Different people have different things. You understand? Know okay. But we spot we are night now. We are night now. So probably, probably some side of night. We spot been wearing Nike since he was 10, 11 years old. From come a Phoenix, we wear Nike. A Phoenix by every boots, mommy. Mm. Yeah, so and everybody else in the academy too. And that comes from our night deal. So we just buy boots, we take care of everything for everybody. And now we spoke to get him own boot deal. I want him to get him own boot deal. I'm gonna help some other little youth too. You understand? Yeah. You know, people don't realize this, but every time Chippy come down on a holiday or one of the man and go, every boots I'm have to take care from him. He don't have one boots every leave. So if I'm yeah. a third pair of boots, cause like you will get you get a boots and wear a boots one time and put it down. Wear it in a match, put it down. Wear a new one next day. All of them boots there. If you look at the Phoenix man, them, any man wear eight and a half or nine. Hmm. Leon Bailey, the Panitar, Cassava piece, or, you know, say, chippy boots and that. Man, them wear it with honor, pride. Hmm. The brother send that for them. Big brother. Yeah, man, that's how it work. Uh, before we get into the reggae boy squad still and thing, talk to me about because I see whisper. Oh, 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 you feel Craig? You see whisper just turn it on, man. Everywhere you see the camera, man. And and off the pitch, man. The man is just have everybody just laughing, bridging. You see him all over on TikTok. You see him all over on Instagram, Facebook. How do you feel if you know that whisper? Normally, whisper not really talk, but going going to the Gold Cup and look at him. It's just a good feeling, man, to see him, him and Bailey and Shaman Nickel. It's always the one, like, seems like the vibes one in the camp. Yeah, man, whisper full of vibes, man. Phoenix, man, and a hole, you know. Remember, you know, that's, that's how we're living, you know. The whole way, have fun, you know. We have fun all the time, and it's, it's really a pleasure to see whisper uh, uh, enjoy himself and spend a lot of time with Chippy. You know, and Chippy have him on them, we don't think so. You know, can you imagine if, if I had to send him alone and, and, and without anybody I'll look out for him? It would be a little scary because I'm young. But mm -hmm. at the same time, Chippy will look out for him, Nana will look out for him, you know? The whole man in there looking out for him. And it's a good thing to see that, that even though they're competitive for positions, they're not, they're not, they, they don't care whether or not they play or not. After the game, the man them have fun. For the game, the man them fun. The coach met the decision picking team. Who play play, who don't play play. Um, sit down and, and cheer for the team. That is how it should be. 
The only part bad mind that is a permeate the fabric of the GFF and the players and the stream right down, you know. So I'm have a rate coach Al Grimson because he he literally cut that out. You know, he gave everybody a chance. He gave the Premier League players in Jamaica a chance in the Trinidad games. He gave Whisper him like a chance and Whisper took his chance. You know, and he showed quality and he's there. You know? Um you know, does you know? I remember Janet Jackson had a song. You ever heard a song? Like, what have you done for me lately? Lately, yeah. Try to be unfair. Well, basically, I say, it no matter what you do yesterday, you know, it's what you do today that counts. Yeah. You know, so I I'm proud that when Whisper got his chance, he showed the quality and he got through. Um, you know, the man in Jamaica who you know, I want to say this. Premier League players that didn't get selected and Whisper got selected, don't feel it as a put down. Just give it, put it as a as a mark that you need to just go in and work harder. So that next time you get a chance, like all in the friendlies with the Trinidad game or so, you go there and deliver and mash it up and you go through. You know? You know, yeah. bear in mind that six months ago, the fight out Whisper and David didn't call him into the the under 20. Six months later, the man is a part of the Gold Cup squad and a team that's going to win the Gold Cup and bring history <coughs> to Jamaica. You know, because the players that are there, and it's only up from here, the big problem that we haven't had since the 1998 World Cup campaign is that Jamaica has not been behind the man. It's always some criticism. It's always, the, do you have any idea how much vibes and energy play a part in the success of a football team? Anytime you doubt that, look at some of the teams in the world that have the best players on, 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 that they buy on, on paper, but yet they can't deliver. And then you have some little team that just come. Leicester City, when Leicester City won the league, it's an unknown man. But them just firing, firing, firing. Game and Bardi, the whole of those guys. And yes, um, you know, a little while after, Leicester is demoted. But you have to understand the vibe, the coach, the environment, will they look at bringing up young players. There's a time when, you know, we'd say, boy, young players can't get a game. They might fight out you them. Or at least fight out my youth. Um, but no, we can't say that. We can't say that Hal Grimson has not given a chance. We can't say that Hal Grimson don't come up at Phoenix and look at players. We can't say that he don't go to other clubs and look at players too. He's going to pick his best players. Best of players that he have in the country. And that's all I've ever wanted in a ram. I'm a man that pick up. Remember Messi? Chevron yeah. Marsh. Marsh, yeah. They must say yeah, Chevron probably. Marsh is a Cavaliers player. Now. And I pick up Chevron Marsh knowing full well. So if I deal though, me now I get no money you now. And take him and take care of him by myself for three months in a Belgium. You know. And send him to Club Brew, Brew, send him to Standard Liege, send him on trial. So hoping, hoping for him to get an opportunity. You know. Just because I thought the kid was a good player. And if that player can be developed and get opportunities, then it would be better for Jamaica. So it would never matter to me whether or not a speed I'm going to get the money. Speed can be in a money for all I care. There is so much money in the world that no matter how much one man has, he still can't do it. You know? And this is a, the mentality that we need to have as Jamaicans. And we don't have that mentality. You don't have that mentality of working together and trying to achieve together and trying to be to be successful and, and boots up one another and I say thank you. You have them man who just put down people and then when and say they're not good and they're not good enough and then when the story comes to bomb now and you say that the player is good enough you, you go on like you never say so <laughs> you say so <laughs> hey Craig well on I stop it this so Craig which 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 interview him did because Price did the two interviews. Me never hear that. All right, listen. All right. 
What is the meaning of the word could? Oh, it has a whole but different meaning. All right. Could means possible. If mm. it is possible for Dujan Richards, if Dujan Richards could have been called, which is what he said, if it is possible for Dujan Richards to be called, then the other two players should have been called. Should and could is two different things. We've studied English language Italian. Should means deserves to be more than the other person that could have. So if you call the player's name and you add could, could to his thing, and maybe, and then you call two other man's name and you add should, what you're saying is those people deserve the opportunity over the other. Right? And when and it's always the same, you know. Oh, ye men of little faith, you know? When, 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 before the player play, everybody is against it. When the player play and perform, everybody say, oh, we they always do it. Well, so, no, no, don't come jump on the wagon. No. Say a sorry first. Then you can get that space for the wagon. But don't act as if, oh, I thought this player was the greatest player at Ray Tate. No. He didn't fight out you. And how you want to cloak it or pretty it up or nice it up, no matter what you do, you can't win, bro. You know something that people in life know? You see, a heart, eh? People know the truth in their hearts. And people need to stop living. It's like me, bro. I live through my heart. You know how tired I am? Shelly them pop me up and put me up on a plane. I send me because them say, Craig, we're not business. You can't send you and bond trial and you know that because you know that they're not going to get you. Because one, you motivate them. Two, you got to make sure them do the right thing. And three, the people who bring in, you bring in them to respect you. And when you talk, them will listen. Say, so I have to go. Blood pressure machine and I'm a bug. See that? <laughs> Why send me with me? With a blood pressure machine to that. Blood pressure machine. See that? Blood pressure machine. Right? I have to travel with. I have to come to the job the same way. You understand? But guess what? I will never ever say, if I was wrong, I'll never say, no, I never mean it or whatever. I'm sorry. I was wrong. What is wrong with that? I tell people all the time, Ryan, the easiest way to get out of trouble is genuinely be sorry. Show genuine remorse. Yeah, but, but, but Craig, I still can't, because I search for the two interview them, watch them, but I hear him say nothing like that. Did you see the newspaper article on my post? But you know, say, Craig, you know, say, newspaper man can't write. It. No, listen, right. listen. No, listen, Craig. listen. Mm. You know, when you, when you put inverted commas at each end of the thing, it means that it's a quote from the person on mouth, verbatim. Yeah, but Craig, yeah. you know, say sometimes them, them, them paper people can quote it wrong. No, forget no, 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 no. Listen, listen. Listen. It's on my phone, so I don't want to get it. But, no, man, it works. No, man. But it, but it would, said, the I... word said, mm. if Dujan Richards could have been selected, for the national team, then these players who scored so many goals should have been selected. Or you want to mix that up to say? Basically, I said they're man, the man, they're better than the youth. That's what I say. And everybody says, "Oh well, everybody's entitled to their opinion." That is true. But whatever your opinion is, when it, it when it backfire on you. You have, to ask, you have to take the liquid it too. You can't run from it. You can't want T4 to your mother yard and go play ball. I want you to catch you. You are going like you never did go play the ball. You have to take a beating. She catch you. <sighs> if Whisper didn't go and play foolishness, and your price to them all over the thing, I say, you see, and they tell you, they like, carry the Premier League one, them, them, you, the you, the you, the you. You would be the first. But listen, 
you can't go around the thing, brother. A man say, oh, well, Premier League baller, how much Premier League baller? Andrew Boss. I'm going to look on it, you know. You know, say, I was the first to make Marvin Morgan play Manning Cup. I was a coach at Mona. And Marvin Morgan was like 12. I'm a boss him early. By the yeah, time I bust him, he never played Manning Cup. 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 He never played Manning never played Manning Cup. He 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 never Big man, you yeah, listen to me? Yeah. Oh, Just, I do coach him. Say, Are you going to listen to me? All right, go ahead. At Mona High School, where I first coached years ago. And I tell yeah. me, I coach at Mona. You know? yeah. I coach at Mona year. When I just come back to Jamaica, I coach at Mona. You know? When Kyle and Chippy lick us up. Yeah. Right? I, know, I know your coach. I know your coach, Mona. Listen up. Listen I know up. your coach, Mona. Listen up, Mr. Man. Mm -hmm. I got that we call him, Mr. Man. So I'm playing a seventh grade then. Brother, as he reach a Mona, yeah. him at 12, 13, and when he's supposed to play Pepsi, but boss him and make him go play money cup. You see, right after he played that, that year for Mona, George is taking him and carry him go down and George is telling God. You see, from this up, Mr. Man go and he play Premier League. When Mr. Man then know? What the development of Mr. Man from when he's at 13? True, whatever. This is where me and everybody else differ. You see, when Whisper was 13, eh? when Whisper was 12, Whisper had a good left foot. Yeah? He was slow in the lanky, slow and marble. Right? When Whisper come to Phoenix, he used to tell himself, I'm slow like molasses. We make him, we make him train. We make him train. For about a month or two without touch the ball with him left foot. I pressure him, I build him, I work on him. I'm not business about whether I'm playing my China. We're not playing a match. We we'll work on your technique. So that the whisper you know today is a man that can get up on him right side and bust it with him right foot. Get up on him left side, bust it with him left foot. He have all his skill cells, he have a bag of tricks he can use, and not just the one that might come with naturally. If you look at how Chippy play, or Whisper play, the shift them what them use, and the same thing come out of the same camp. Same developmental model. If you look at 10 other Phoenix players, wingers, or strikers, that's the same way they play. Pick them up. You understand? So, I'm a, well, well, my boy, well, play now, they're on a 17 now, they play just like them too. Exactly. Dylan, same way. Dylan, Tio, yeah. same way. The whole of them play the same way. Now, what I'm saying to you is that is as a result of technical training and development. However, when you take a man like this, a man at 30, man, gifted as a little you, you take him by camera, judges, you play Pepsi with him, you play Colts with him, you play Money Cup with him. And you do that over a period of time, years. When he reach the age enough you know, to leave school, this a man get better than when he was 13, you know. He just get bigger. You understand? <laughs> in level don't increase, you know. In his thing is false, don't get fixed, you know. So you go in a Premier League and you push him in a Premier League. Yeah, man, my mash up the same, you mash up the man then. But don't develop just like him because the whole of them coming up in the same system. So you have man, all right. I want to criticize, and I'm going to do it. Sorry about that, Fitzroy. Fitzroy, I call me. You hear me? Right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to criticize against a better judgment the Cavaliers player, right? That's Anderson, right? Mm hmm. Anderson is extremely fast. A tracks man, I'm calling. Yeah? You know him. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Extremely fast. Good with him right foot. Right? Yeah? You listening? Yeah, yeah my man, yeah, man. Unfortunately, he can't control the ball with the left foot. So he's not a left. Ball control, poorly. 
Yeah? But work rate? No, I don't think anybody in the national team work harder than I do. You see the youth play the final one there. And you run out him out and score him, score him, score back one. And as him score back one, I think Mount Pleasant score back again. You drop down for the field and a ball. I'm a feel it for him. Come see the effort what the youth are putting. Now you know what? You're mess up the youth now. You think that youth can't take the jump and go on to Manchester United right now? The minute they watch the tape of the youth, they realize he can't use him left foot. Them just block the right side and force him to go up on him left and take on the ball from him. This is how football at the professional level is played. So if you're not going prepared to develop the players from young come up properly, technically, you're never going to be able to tactically use them. That is the difference, you know. 